I'm here to do a little book review and just to give you guys an update on where I am in the books I am reading. Um, so why don't we start with the book review. And I'm on here to do a book review for Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Um, this follows an alternate reality to where a president is female and her son, um, the first son, Alex, who is a Mexican-American, um, and he has to play nice with Prince Henry of Wales, this is one right here, um, as it goes from a, like, lover, haters to lovers, um, Yeah, it's just from, like, haters to lovers. Um. And. It just follows Henry and Alex. As they. How do I want to word this without spoiling you guys? Um, it follows those two. Um, as they basically despise each other in the first part of the book um and then they come to a well technically i'm not really spoiling you because i am kind of reading the back of what it says of this book um as like um they come to a truce and once they do that things fall into place and they essentially become yeah I like I said just really don't want to spoil you it is just super cute and um about maybe three quarters of the way through I was just yelling at this book I wanted to throw this book I was crying about this I was crying at this book I was yelling at Prince Henry because he was being a little jerk and I just wanted to smack the prince upside his head um and just by the end of it it was just ever so sweet and I gave this a five out of five stars this is a borrowed library book um but I am looking forward to get my very own copy because this is just oh so cute um, this might be one of my new favorites for the year, um, and, like I said, I just can't wait to get my very own copy, so that way I can reread it over and over again, um, and as for a reading update, I am... For Stardust, I'm this way through. I'm on page 273, which means I have less than, I'd say, I'd say I have about maybe, try to calculate, maybe um, 30 give or take about 60 pages of this left to read um i'll see when i get done with updating you guys um if i want to read for a few more pages um and then finish it in the morning and give you guys a review um basically it's stardust by neil gaiman this book is part of the uh book Junkie trials which is the group book um and this book is for um, the Queendom prompt, which is um, read a book about royalty. Um, I use my scribe ability to swap out my um, books on my TPR, and I just wanted to get to this, and I did, because like everybody's raving about it. And like I said, this is a group book. I've seen the movie a million times. The book is 
very, very, very different um, than the movie. Um, but there's one similarity to this and the movie. He just, Tristan just keeps talking and talking about Victoria. Um, and this follows Tristan as he searches for a fallen star to bring back to his beloved, I don't even want to know what you call it. Um, girl he fancies and wants to have her hand in marriage. And like I said, I'm nearly done with this. And I'll give you guys a book review for the morning. I am slowly working my way through uh, City of Brass. I'm almost halfway through this book. I'm on page... 218, which is maybe 10 pages less than um, being halfway through the book. And I just really want to get through this one. Um, the majority of tomorrow. Um, and this um, follows a girl. Um, who accidentally summons a creature from another world and she's trying to navigate through this and figuring out what to do and everything. And then I have not made any progress with this book. My well, obviously not. Um I have not made any progress with the lovely bones. Um, this completes the challenge in mine, which is, I think, to read a book that's been on your TBR forever. Um, and this one is to has a prompt to read a beautiful um, cover, and I do. This cover is just stunning. Um, like I said, I'll just let you guys know when I finish the book in the morning and upload it sometime tomorrow. Bye, guys!